Hey everyone, Burger and Kimchi are back in Busan this week for our latest food experience. We scored a totally random restaurant find that was the maritime equivalent of discovering a pearl inside an oyster. That's the wrong species of shellfish, but I'm sure you get my analogy. We're eating a mega pile of various calcified cassinets from the sea at Sodom Ol Kun Kalguksu. And for the Korean language challenged, like myself, Ol Kun can best be described as gently spicy. This restaurant, located in Jagalchi Market, was a small, family-run establishment that serves some surprisingly great food. This place is a sleeper hit for sure. The restaurant itself is your typical classical Korean sit-down, eat-and-go style, which keeps quality food close to the heart. While it might lack in style, this place definitely makes up for it with some soul-fulfilling eats. Sodam Ulkun Kalguksu focuses on a handful of masterfully prepared items on the menu. I feel like this restaurant was originally serving mainly Kalguksu, but now they have made a transition, making Kalguksu almost feel secondary or even tertiary. For the uninitiated, Kalguksu is a noodle dish consisting of a flavorful broth with knife-cut wheat noodles and an assortment of other ingredients for additives. Shabu Shabu, or a Japanese-style hot pot with a side of kalguksu, seems more accurate as of now. The two main dishes you can choose from are beef and shellfish shabu shabu, or you can skip the sea creatures and just get beef. Of the two dishes, Kimchi and I went all out with the option for both beef and shellfish. This was without a doubt one of the best marital decisions we've made together to date. We received a rocky pile of mollusks that was stacked to the ceiling. The beef and shellfish shabu shabu began with their secretive brothy concoction that was carefully brewed for hours with ingredients that might have included shellfish, chicken, kelp, or anchovies. While we don't know their proprietary recipe, we do know that it was savory, enough salty, and just a touch spicy. It was a jazzy and uplifting broth that made for the perfect bath for the other ingredients. We received a leafy plate of cruciferous vegetables, mushrooms, sprouts, and two dumplings for the cherry on top. For leaves, we had Swiss chard, kale, bok choy, and cabbage. For mushrooms, there was a small bunch of enoki. The still powdery kalguksu noodles came on the side on a rectangular plate to be added to the pot when the planets aligned and the timing was right. For the main event, the sky-high pile of clams and scallops were brought to the table and were swept off the plate and into the broth like a bus full of school children at the water park. I'll try to keep this short, but the shellfish most importantly tasted clean without grit. The texture of the little treasures inside were smooth and springy. The kalguksu noodles held up well to the heat of the broth and retained much of their bounce. The thinly sliced beef was super soft and melted in your mouth with a meaty explosion. The other ingredients played well with the stars of the show. The final completed brew with all of the ingredients was like an angel choir of various flavors singing in your mouth. We came in expecting just noodles and came out with a pleasant smile on our faces. We weren't expecting things to be this good. Shame on us because it more than exceeded our flavor expectations in every way. Sodom Olkun Kalguksu has a modest character about it with a family of easygoing people running the show. The two delectable main dishes are expertly crafted. The portions of both shellfish and thinly sliced beef are generous with the quality to match. This is some of the best shellfish we've had in a long time, and having been traumatized with a toxic shellfish experience before, I still enjoyed every single bite of these fruits de mer in a pleasantly spicy broth. The kalguksu side is a homemade extra surprise that makes for a perfect meal cap. I'm typically left starving after a seafood-heavy meal, but the kalguksu topped off my carbohydrate needs perfectly. If you're looking for a lunch or dinner bivalve bonanza for two, 
and a tasty flogger made of wheat noodles, Sodom Olkun Kalguksu will check all of these boxes and more. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again for joining us on this food adventure. If you could, give the video a like, subscribe, and consider leaving a comment. We'll be back with another tasty video next week. Peace.